extra, extra, extra. Good morning, family. Oh, y'all, I miss you so much. Good morning to you. Good afternoon, good evening, whatever side of the diaspora that you may be on. Let me take the time to welcome you and thank you. Hope all is well out there. I hope all of y'all are doing well. Every time I look at the algorithms and, and see is what's going on with uh, YouTube, sometimes it just gets so depressing <laughs> that, um, um, you know, you don't have the energy to do this. However, you know, you... I have to be in a situation as being a griot on the planet and one of the wise old crones at this point, um, then I have a commitment to my people, to my family, whoever they may be. Because what draws men and women together are their, are their ideologies, you know, not so much even as their blood, okay? That's why you had that scripture where Jesus said, Woman, behold your son. Your son, behold your mother. So I just want to let you know, first of all, I missed y'all, and I'm glad to be able to make a video today. My time has been so crazy. And with all that's been going on, um, uh, and getting rid of these puppies has been a, a another thing. So I've just been busy, but I missed the family, so I had to get up early in the morning. So it's very early here, um, but I was determined, and I just was going to make that sacrifice um, to make sure I made a video. So shout out to y'all. I hope everybody good. <laughs> um, matter of fact, why don't y'all let me know how you feeling? Let me know that you're okay. I'm um, surviving the pandemic. Um, I've had uh, quite a few people um, that I've lost. So whatever's going around in the air, I hear a lot of people saying all that shit fake and whatever. I don't give a damn. Something's going on. Um, and when you say pre-existing conditions, um, there's people out here that are dying from things that are strange that's in this air and they're calling it either COVID uh, and, and, you know, whatever it's being called. It's, it's a problem, right? So I don't want to talk about that too much because then it'll get flagged. So, but what I want to say is I just want y'all to stay healthy. Make sure you... uh getting plenty of vitamin D, especially if you live in a climate where, like I live, you know, um, I mean, you know, because the sun doesn't shine a lot, it's important that we get a lot of vitamin D in our bodies. And um, I'm, I'm just saying, let's just make sure we stay healthy because the worst of the pandemic is, is not over. And um, I just want to hear a check-in, especially from Tafrica and um, um, some of my subs uh, that I know usually check in with me, haven't heard. Well, of course, I haven't made a video in a while either, but I didn't see any of their comments. And I hope that they are all okay out there. I wish y'all could do a check in. You know, if you find it in your heart to let me know if you're okay, I would really appreciate it. As a matter of fact, don't just let me know you're okay. How about you give me a shout out from what city you are? I would like to know where where some of my subscribers are so I can say something um, on my next video regarding your state and your city. Rep your city, you know? So do that for me if it's not a problem for you. If it's not asking too much, I would really, really appreciate it, okay? Now let's on to this real talk. Um, First of all, I want to send my condolences. Oh, my goodness. And this is going to be hard for Diana Ross this morning. And so y'all send a special prayer up to her. So now all her sisters are going, whether they got along or all that stuff is irrelevant. Um, Diana's heart is that she knew those girls from Brewster Project. And the passing of Mary Wilson today. 
um, or I guess I just got the message this morning. Um, let me say I thought about her in um in a way that I thought that she needed prayer in her heart, and definitely the family of Mary Wilson, her children, her grandchildren, um, all the people in Detroit that knew her um, from tech. Uh, high school and from, um, like I said, Brewster Project. Brewster Project now, boy, it looks good, by the way. Boy, they fixed those homes up. Anyway, um, all of y'all, Detroit, y'all mourning another one of the uh, supreme beings, Mary Wilson, who a lot of people thought was the prettiest. A supreme. I know my brother sure did. <laughs> but she made her transition. My heart goes out to her family and her friends and everybody that knew her. Everybody's lives who she touched with her grace and with her song. Because back in the day, y'all, we didn't have too many um, black artists on TV. So when you saw the Supremes, yeah. Y'all just don't understand. You don't understand. So anyway, I wanted to make sure I um acknowledged her this morning. But the the the, the main story I really wanted to talk about is so damn crazy that um <laughs> I don't know if there is the same place on this <laughs> and it's almost like my dad used to always say by the way my dad is doing a little better my mom not so well but that's another video for another day not able to do that one right now anyway this right here Listen, there's a documentary that's going to talk about the creepy utopia for senior citizens that belies the sinister underbelly of racism, orgies, drunken debauchery, and a make-believe history. Did y'all hear me talking to you? <laughs> uh, stay tuned for it. There's a new documentary that's going to go inside this creepy utopia for senior citizens. It's called The Village, by the way. That belies the sinister underbelly of racism, orgies, drunken debauchery, and a make-believe history. The new, the new documentary is called Some Kind of Heaven, and it explores the dark underside of America's largest retirement community known as The Villages in Central Florida with a notorious swinger scene. The community was designed to be a be manicured a manicured fantasy land for seniors age fifty five and up. Now you know well let me just keep going. Grandchildren and visitors to this place under the age minimum are restricted, prohibited to visit for more than thirty calendar days. So they don't want your ass there. Okay, don't come visit your mama, don't come visit your grandmama. And if you do, no, you can't stay there more than 30 days. Okay, because there's going to be a whole lot of shaking going on. <laughs> it's dubbed the Disneyland for retirees because the neighborhoods are designed like a theme park to intimate, to imitate Old Town Squares, complete with make-believe histories, residents, they say it's like living in a damn bubble. A real live Truman Show, y'all. A real live Truman Show. You know, y'all sick. This is why I said there's serious mental health um, issues underlying the the fabric 
of this society. The developers own the uh, the own the a TV channel, own the TV channel, local radio station, and newspaper that only prints positive news stories. <laughs> Oh my God. <laughs> okay, let me get through this. Did y'all hear what I said? Okay, they own radio stations and newspaper and they only print positive news. So don't be coming up there with this craziness. They don't got time for it. Okay, they don't have time for it. Where is the sound coming from? Um, and so with that being said, I'm sure um, it's really creepy. Critics say that the villages are like a creepy Stepford cult. It's a, you know, and for baby boomers with Aurelian-like rules that are di dictated by an exclusive family worth billions of dollars. And according to the U.S. Census, the villages is the fastest growing metro in the United States, where the population rose by 37.8 percent between 2010 and 2019. Homes cost between 100k to a million, so you know black people shut out, which we wouldn't want to probably participate. Most of us would, any sane and rational being, first of all, would want to participate in that. Specifically, most black people. You know, we all start getting to the point where you have orchestrated this type of craziness. Do you wonder why you have these cults out here? God, y'all. The villages is larger than the size of Manhattan. And it covers 32 square miles of property with 130,000 residents, five zip codes, 50 golf courses, 100 rec centers, 11 dog parks, and 14 supermarkets. There are 2,700 social and recreational clubs for residents that include one for singles, beetle maniacs, synchronized swimming, softball, cheerleading, and retired CIA members. and retired CIA members. The villages were designed to hide all of the problems of everyday life, says the first time documentarian. Lance Oberheim, his film follows the lives of four seers that live on the fringe of the fantasy. Um, this 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 is so insane that just to name a few things that are like highlights of the place or lowlights and whatever your perspective. Um the sprawling expanse of flat emptiness in central Florida is an unlikely place for America's fast and growing metro area of the nation. Yet just seventy miles northwest of Florida sits the villages. Orlando, by the way. The world's largest retirement community that surpasses the size of Manhattan encompasses all those zip codes and is an ever-growing population. Um, one person said, I'm just saying that for me, it hasn't been the fantasy land that I thought it would be for reasons that are true to my own, said Barbara Lechato, a widow from Boston who has lived in the villages for 12 years and longs to return to her hometown, but can no longer afford to do so. Barbara is just one of 130,000 residents lured to the villages for opportunity to live out her golden years on permanent vacation. It's dubbed the Disneyland for seniors for obvious reasons. The grass is always green. The sidewalk are immaculate, crime is almost non-existent, and the faint coastal landscape is framed by palm trees, tangerine sunsets. Do y'all see this Truman Show? 
right before your very eyes. And for those of y'all who don't know what I'm talking about, because you're not old enough, see if you can find that crazy Jim Carrey movie called The Truman Show. For many, the villages are a utopia fantasy land. Giant swaths of ready-made brick track homes and manicured lawns dot the prefab neighborhoods in a Stepford-like uniformity. An exclusive billionaire family lords over the master plan community that boasts a hundred recreational centers. I told y'all all that. But for the others, it's the inside of the squeaky clean bubble is far from ideal. Herein is the focus of some kind of heaven, a debut documentary by the 24-year-old filmmaker Lance Oberheim. I was looking for people who were on the margins, who didn't exist inside of the same marketing brochure that everyone else did. In doing so, uh, Oberheim reveals that the dark undercurrent of loneliness, willful ignorance, intolerance, and insultory beneath scene of America Friendly's home. This is what he found out. All the pictures and people taking pictures behind beautiful scenes that look like the Truman Show. Oh my God. Some of them got on the same clothes. The villages, you guys. The villages. Perfectly. Do y'all hear what I said? This is insanity. This is who we are. This is not who we are. This is who they are. They have actually created these bubbles and they live inside of them. And they have, they basically checked out of real life. Everybody wants a safe community. So why don't you make it safe? But when you self-contain ARP, ARRP, Arpolis, my God, they have everything a boomer needs to sustain their twilight years in comfort. Dozens of restaurants, bars, nightclubs, gift shops, jewelry stores, churches, movie theaters, medical facilities, and a Walmart superstore. Even a fountain of youth. Uh, they also uh, hand on picking Panera Chili, Olive Garden, Applebee's, TGIF. There's also Home Goods, Stein, Steinmark, Belks, TJ Maxx, and Chico's. Everything you have is want is here. This is what a person saying. You don't, you don't even have to go outside of the village. The village provides what their tour guidelines call GLC, Golf Lifestyle and Convenience. Everything is easily accessible by golf carts. Indeed, golf carts, often styled to look like human hummers, hot rods, tanks, are the vehicles of choice with over a hundred miles of path, including special bridges and tunnels that enable drivers to travel safely over busy main roads. Anyway, you know, it's designed to hide all of the problems. Of everyday life. It's, you know, uh, this guy said, um, this guy, Operman, said to the Guardian, explaining that he was compelled by the insane length people will take to shelter themselves from the unpleasantries of the outside world, meaning poor people, bad weather, mortality, and Democrats. Uh, they got the radio station. It's called the. Oh, they got one of them. Boss Hall Radio. No rock and no crap. Wow. I mean, this is insanity at its best. 
So, if y'all want to know even more about the freaky stuff that goes on in this damn place, I mean, eight women to every man. You can afford to let your guard down and slip, explain, blend the beard to the Daily Mail. Turn your back for one minute and somebody will steal your husband. After the, uh, this the guy says, after the wife passed, I started night clubbing. And, um, he dyed, uh, his hair pitch black. And he found love while dancing on the square of a Spanish Springs. These, uh, freaks. <laughs> and built him a robo world. And I think this is the mindset of a lot of people in this population. You want to know why I call this the mental health TV? Think about it. The narcissism, the personality disorders, and the insanity that we all have. It's just that some more than others and some a hell of a lot more than most. These people, it's a fake utopia based on an America that doesn't really exist. This ain't real people. Y'all got to check this article out and check out this village. Check out the documentary, please. Um, it's pretty damn crazy. It's pretty darn crazy. So with that being said, I'll be back with another video. Bye-bye.